god. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am vlogging. Well, this weekend I'm gonna vlog. <laughs> you good? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> So it's about 3 o'clock now. I'm kind of done my work. I still have some stuff I could be doing. But I'm going to take a little bit of a break and do a face mask. This is my sample jar of like things I've gotten in the mail or like it, old Ipsy stuff. Got all my like samples here. Oh, deep nourishing mask. Let me try this one. Ethiopian Honey by The Body Shop. Yeah, I'm going to try that one. This looks cool. I'm let my oh man, this looks interesting. Woo! Oh no! <laughs> it's on my toe. <laughs> Ooh, honey. I need to wash it off my toe. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, okay. So I just washed off that face mask. That was really nice. My face feels so soft. Holy smokes. Um, I'm gonna put on some makeup now because I realize it's 20 to 4. By the time I get back into work and doing things, I won't have enough time to do my makeup later. So I'm just gonna do it now. Um, last week or the week before that, I asked you guys on Instagram to send me questions because I was gonna film a Q&A, but I think I'll just do it this way. So I'm just gonna pull up all the questions. Thank you so much everyone who asked me all these questions. It means a lot. Flow and Fallow Photography asks, who is your style inspo right now? Um, I would probably say Emma Hill or like Ashley Brooke or Eric Fox, like Retro Flame. Like they're my big uh, fashion. Like I follow them a lot on Instagram and on Pinterest and like watch all of their how to style videos. And they're so well done and put together. I just really love that city chic or like that style i absolutely love that like i'm really into blazers i'm really into nice um checkered prints and like the bright colors but more like neutral like around surrounded by neutral if that makes any sense like i really really like that i've been spending a lot of time on pinterest lately and really getting familiar with the style and really happy about that but that's pretty much been like my my inspo and, and all that stuff. Yeah, actually, you know, a small YouTube, well, she's not really small anymore, really. Um, Emma Maria, if you haven't already gone and checked out her video, she has an amazing style. And she reminds me a lot of uh, Retro Flame, who's from Ireland, and uh, which Emma is also from Ireland as well. Actually, Emma was the one who got me into Retro Flame. She's like, you should watch her. So anyway, so she also reminds me of those people as well. And I'm really into that fashion. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, so that's what... Those are probably my, my fashion people. Next question, Matt Math Photo asks, what kind of business does your family own and run? So if you've seen my uh, 5 a.m. morning routine video, I kind of talked about my jobs and like what I do and stuff, and I mentioned that I work for my family company. So my family company manufactures golf pull carts um, out of Canada. So golf pull carts, if you're not familiar with like golf or that kind of stuff, it's the cart, like the buggies that you stick your bag on and you walk with it. Uh, so that's what we make. I'm very fortunate enough to come from a family like full of entrepreneurs and um, that started like with my great grandfather who started the company and then my dad took it over from my grandpa when he was my age so yeah actually he bought the company from my grandpa but yeah no it, it was really it's cool to grow up in that experience and I'm I'm lucky to have that like well-rounded um, education almost and experience well not more education more experience because you know, I've learned how to work in production and manufacturing as well, see the office side of things. So when I was taking accounting in school, I could see it in like real life at my parent, at my dad's shop. And it's definitely given me that like entrepreneurial spirit in starting things of my own and kind of given me that little um, push to work really hard to get results kind of thing because I saw that in my dad and it was really it was very inspirational to see that so I'm very fortunate and very lucky to have that like 
as a big part of my life. So yeah. Uh, Taylor Talks, hi Taylor, asks, how do you remain determined with content? Love your content as always, girly. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> um, I posted a video on like how I stay motivated with content and I think that's like been a big thing for me. Actually, I'm gonna do this, sorry. I'm just deciding on what foundation I wanna do. So I guess like just definitely like planning out my content ahead of time and knowing like what I want to film. Lately I've been really off in my content, especially in like Instagram and YouTube as well. Like I feel like my numbers have been getting to me a lot, which I usually don't ever let. Um, and I've been having a lot of like self-doubt, like I'll film a video, edit, and then get to posting it. And then as I'm going through it, like as my final run through, I'm like, no, it's not, it's not good. Like um, this isn't terrible stuff so and then I'll delete it so the amount of, like I'll go on my iMovie and the amount of videos that I have right now that I've filmed and edited but haven't posted are crazy I don't know I like I filmed a vlog I vlogged last weekend and then lost all the footage and was kind of like that got me back into the swing of things and I felt very confident and felt good about it and then you know I lost the footage and then I just like got frustrated with myself again so I'm a little off right now in terms of content so, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> but I'm, I'm getting back into it, so, yeah, I'm hoping that this video on the vlog and all that stuff will actually stay. When they tell you to eject your memory card through your computer, actually eject it and don't take it out because you will lose your stuff. <laughs> you, you Samu, I don't know how to say your name, I'm really sorry, uh, or your, like, username. How do you have such a nice social media work, or social media slash work life balance and such a cute blog theme. Oh, thanks. I don't know. I feel like because I work from home that I'm able to balance them all. Like I can quickly shift um, my focus, but at the same time, they're all kind of related because I do a lot of social media work for all my other jobs. Like they are all included. Uh, so yeah, maybe that's why, I don't know, but thanks for saying that my blog is cute. That's nice. Jenny asks, socks or no socks? Um, I didn't know that was still a thing, uh, but I wear socks with my running shoes and boots and all that, but I don't wear socks with my loafers or like casual slip-on sneakers. Uh, yeah. Um, Elena, <laughs> when are we going out? We're actually going out tonight, so yay! I'm excited for tonight, finally. <laughs> um, Sydney asks, what is your all-time favorite bath bomb? First of all, we need to go back to Lush because I need some more. I've used up all our ones from when we stocked up the last time. But my all-time favorite is honestly probably the Sex Bomb. I love that one. It smells so nice and your skin is so soft afterwards. I really, really like that one. I also like the Big Blue and what's the one with like blue and it has like the seaweed in it? I don't think that one's called Big Blue. Maybe it's called like Ocean something, but I really like the one with the seaweed. I think that's quite nice. Uh, so yeah. Canadian blogger gals asks, do you play any sports? Uh, I used to play a lot of sports. I currently am not really playing any. Growing up I played a lot of soccer, um, even with my brothers and like my neighbors and stuff. We played like football um, and hockey. We used to play soccer baseball. That was like our big main thing with our neighborhood. Like we were, we would go to the high school near our house and we would just play soccer baseball for hours. That was our thing. I, I remember that. I love that. I also used to play competitive curling, which is very Canadian. And yeah, so I did that from I was six till I think I was 21 when I stopped curling. I enjoyed it. It was a really nice sport. It gave me a ton of experiences. I was able to meet a lot of people. Um, some of my best friends are still from curling. Uh, but I kind of, I just grew out of it. Honestly, like I grew up. Uh, there's a whole other world <laughs> to uh, outside of curling that I discovered and found more better. Like it was better for me. And Laura asks, what's something you always carry with you that's not your phone? It's not my phone. I like to carry water with me, like a bottle of water. Um, I have it in like a, my purse or something, excuse me, or just in the car. I always like to have my earrings on. Like if I'm going out and I don't have my earrings or rings on, I feel like naked. <laughs> so there's that too, but. But yeah. What apps are you currently using right now? Um, honestly, nothing's really new since like the last time I did um, like, like a what's on my iPhone video. I've been using Pinterest a lot. That's a big, big one for me. Um, actually there's one thing, it's not an app. It's actually an email subscription. It's called The Skim and it sums up everything that's going on in the world 
and it sends it to your inbox every morning at like 6, 6.30. I didn't watch a single thing on the presidential um, government shutdown or anything like that. Even now, like things going on with like Venezuela and like, I don't know what's going on with like Brazil and like all these places. Like I don't watch the news. I remember that was my New Year's resolution last year was to get like watch the news and, and be more involved in um, politics and stuff just to like understand a bit more of it. And then I just got too upset. This is nice because it sums it up, but you know, it's funny too, so it's kind of nice. All right, and then the last question. Oh my gosh, this is from Jen. Why do you get up so early? <laughs> um, to be completely honest, I don't set an alarm. I like set an alarm at like seven just to make sure that I'm up by then, but most of the time I'm up between like 3.34 to 5, 5.30. I just, I get up super early now and I started a few months ago for some reason and I just haven't been able to shake it. As much as it sucks getting up at that time, I don't mind it because I get so much done and then I feel like throughout the rest of the day, like I'm not stressing to get things done or I'm like I'm on time with deadlines and it's like I'm not, you know, I feel more productive and I feel like I have my life together a little bit so it's, that's kind of nice. So those are all the questions. Thank you so much you guys for asking me those and taking the time to do that. It's quite nice. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to work and do a few things and I will come back at you guys maybe tonight if I'm at the bar or whatever. I don't know how this vlog's gonna go, but yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It's actually Sunday. I didn't, I don't even think I picked up my camera yesterday at all, but I was out all day yesterday and then got home this morning. It was a lot of fun. Good times. Oh god. <laughs> I am getting old and struggling a lot harder than I used to. <laughs> like a boy, I just... <sighs> I'm in sweatpants. That's my life right now. Honestly, I might take a nap. I just got out of the shower, well, like did a body shower, took off my makeup from yesterday. I hate sleeping with my makeup on and like I just feel so gross. And then these things on my face just get 10 times worse. So I think I'm just gonna put on some Mario Badescu today. Just look like a freaking troll and have it have a day. <sighs> okay, so much for a lazy day. It's now 1.30. I just finished watching The Blind Side, which I haven't seen in a long time. It was just in my like pile of DVDs that uh, was sitting in my little like collection there, my little tiny collection. And so I just watched that while well, just kind of being on my phone. I tried to take a nap, but I couldn't for some reason. So yeah, sorry I look a little, a little rough. Yikes, I'm looking very rough. But right now, um, I just can't sit here and not do anything. on Sunday night. We did a bunch of work till dinner. Well, I remember when I said that I was doing those bits when I put on Lady and the Tramp till probably like four, five o'clock, five o'clock. Then I watched the curling final for the Scotties, which is like the big Canadian nationals. Uh, so that was nice to watch for a little bit. I fell asleep on the couch. I fell asleep on the couch. Uh, and then I had dinner with Shepherd's Pie. And then I just waltzed right back on to the spot where I fell asleep. And now I'm watching the Oscars. So yeah, it's been quite the evening. I made, I have a tea right here, just like a green tea. And then I have just a cup of water. So yeah, so I'm probably just gonna sit here for another like half hour, watch a bit of the Oscars and Bohemian Rhapsody winning so far. It was Queen Latifah. So I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna stay up much later. I'm sorry this video or this vlog is very boring and all that stuff, but it is, it is what it is. This is my weekend. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and today's video. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you were watching the Oscars. Half of these movies I haven't seen. I should probably go do that. 
Uh, wow, that's a very bright dress. That's very pretty. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, I will see you all hopefully in my next video. Have a good day.